What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing Napoleon, directed by Ridley Scott. Now, I know what you're thinking, man. Ridley Scott, he's the go-to guy when you want to do a period epic, epic battles. He's the director of uh, Gladiator, Kingdom of Heaven. And I've heard, I haven't seen it, the theatrical version didn't really go well, but I've heard that the director's cut is infinitely better. So when you got a director that's gonna do epic, massive scale battles and stuff like that, Ridley Scott might be your guy. He didn't do Troy, but that, that felt like it could have been a Ridley Scott piece, but that was Wolfgang Peterson. It stars Joaquin Phoenix in the title role as Napoleon Bonaparte, who was a general emperor back in the, the late 1700s, early 1800s that were just breezing through, you know, parts of Europe and Africa and just these epic battles. And like, you know, he was, he was the guy. And he wasn't as short as, as history may claim he was, as Bill and Ted's excellent adventure may, may have you believe. But what I found out in this movie, and I don't know too much about Napoleon. I knew he was French. What I found out, first of all, he didn't have a French accent at all in this movie. <laughs> like he was, he was just talking. He was just talking regular. I'm like, oh, okay, we in France. We balls deep in France in the 1700s, and he just not no accent. I get it. It's Joaquin Phoenix. I didn't know that Napoleon was a sucker for love. I've never seen it of this magnitude. So he marries a woman that was that was previously married with children to a soldier that ended up, you know, dying in war. And so he's like Josephine. He pulls up. Josephine, what's what's good? And he ends up marrying her. And she's like, before they even before they even hook up, she's just like, yo, I got a reputation out here. Does my past bother you at all? And he was like, no. He's like, all right, because I'm out here. I'm for, I'm for the streets. And he was like. That's fine. In the non-French accent. I'm for the streets. He was like, all right. They get married. He all buttery. He buttery McGee. He writing letters, you know what I'm saying? He's off at war. As Soon as he goes off to war, she cheating. She out here cheating. Got another dude in the bed having the time of her life. He's like, why don't you write me? Where you at? What you doing? Who you with? Chilling at the Holiday Inn. He leaves the battlefront to go back to France and be like, yo, man, I heard you was with such and such. Leaves the battlefield. Countries are, 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 are at war. He's like, nah, man, my wife cheating. I gotta go back. And I get it, that's, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't even care about the war at that point, but come on, man. You got soldiers at your beck and call, you know what I'm saying? Your wife, your wife is who she is. She was she was for the streets. You knew what it was. And Napoleon had some mistresses too, but he was like, nah, man, I got to come back. I got to come back. Don't be cheating on me. Threw her stuff out, all her luggage was outside of the castle, you know what I'm saying? And he he took her back. He took her back. And then she was treacherous again. So it was like she was treacherous the whole time. And then he like, yo, man, Josephine, why you don't love me, man? I was like, bro, this dude. And I get it. I love women. You know what I'm saying? I'm buttery. I'm soft. I'll be saying sweet nothings. You know what I'm saying? I'll be crying over a good woman. You know what I'm saying? Women are fantastic. But when they for the streets, you got to know they for the streets. And you got to act accordingly. Napoleon. You got soldiers dying out here, man. Napoleon is responsible for three million casualties in the war. Three million. That's crazy. Three million French soldiers. No accent. So the film, you know, we, we go through these battles and we go through what he's dealing with on the, you know, personal tip. Even when he got a divorce, he still couldn't really fully let her go. He, he does his whole divorce. They put her on a little exile and she got her own little castle. She got, she she's living well, but she's out of here. He still pulls up, I missed you. I'm like, bro, man, you soft. You soft, man. You was riding in the battle on horseback with a sword, man. You out here. Come on, man, she for the streets. Will you write me every day? You gonna write me every day? And the day after that? And the day after that? I was tired of it, man. I was tired of it. The movie should've been called Simpson. And I hate the word simp. I hate the word simp, but Napoleon Bonaparte is a bona fide sucker for love. That's what I got from this movie. That's what I learned. I learned he couldn't let France go and he couldn't even, even when they exiled him, he was like, I gotta go back. I miss her in France too much. I'm like, soft. That's what the movie should have been called, soft. But but Joaquin's performance was, 
He's one of the greatest actors working today, in my opinion. But but this role, this particular role, it was cool. Like he didn't, he didn't, he didn't blow me away with the performance. I wasn't like, yo, man, this is this is top tier. It, it was just a good, solid performance. Vanessa Kirby, who plays Josephine, she was good. She was just like, you know, she did her thing. But it, you know, it was well made, straight by the book. But it wasn't too. Even the battle scenes, although epic and good, I was still just kind of like, all right. You know what I'm saying? The battles didn't really hold any significant weight for me. So when I see him being a sucker for love and I, I just see the battles, it's just like, all right. You know what I'm saying? There, there wasn't anything that really blew me away about this movie. It was funny. It had a lot of funny moments. But just seeing him behave like that, I was just like, that's funny. Seeing him fall asleep at a serious, like, you know, sit down, like, yo, he's funny. But forget all that, man. Y'all want to know the smooth jazz review of Napoleon. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving Napoleon three saxophones out of five. Solid piece. You know what I'm saying? Solid performances, but nothing to write home about. Is it a gladiator? Absolutely not. But, you know, it's hard to be another gladiator. But man, when you know who you with is for the streets, let the streets have them. And if you feel like I can handle the, your past, all right. But when the past comes back into the present, you gotta, you gotta cut ties. You gotta, you gotta salvage your dignity, your integrity. Come on, man. When your woman is out here smashing while you on the battlefield, come on, man. Oh. All right, peeps, that's my review of the movie Napoleon. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comment section below. Did you know anything about Napoleon prior to seeing this movie? And are you even interested in Napoleon as a historical figure? Let me know uh, in the comment section below. Don't forget to write, share, subscribe, and as usual, we out here.